whenever a property is <coughs> attached in the process of uh, execution of the decree now suit is filed a case is filed and uh, whosoever wins the case is called the decree holder or the judgment creditor and whosoever loses the case is called the judgment debtor the judgment creditor must receive the payment from the judgment debtor there are three modes of mostly there are three modes of execution of uh, decree that is by way of uh, arrest by attachment and sale of immobile property or attachment and sale of mobile property so today i am going to share with you what are the steps that are done in attachment of an immobile property what is attachment of an immobile property you can attach a mobile property by taking custody for example if it is a bank deposit you can take custody of the bonds from the judgment debtor and bring it to the court so all mobile properties like cars shares bonds money etc agricultural produce etc can be taken into custody and their attachment has meaning but unlike immobile properties the immobile property stays in the place where it is and the court stays in the place where it is at that circumstance how attachment has to be understood the properties are at their places but still court it's a fiction that is created by the court that it is attached to the court how first application will be filed by the decree holder praying to attach the property and once the property is attached there is a procedure the court officer called the bailiff comes to the property and he looks for the schedule the most important thing to attach a property to the court is looking for the boundaries measuring the property that is being attached once all these physical aspects please note it when you purchase if you purchase a property with a wrong schedule and that is brought to the court it cannot be attached everything should match with the documents always and always everything should match with the documents so this fact is ascertained by the bailiff once you get an order of attachment from the court court will issue a warrant you have to pay the process and court will issue a warrant that warrant has to be executed so here also the language of warrant is you don't bring any person you bring the proceeding of an attachment of any mobile property to the court so once attachment is ordered court after verification of uh, the documentary part in the court between the judgment debtor and the decree holder makes an order to attach the property once an order for attachment is made process has to be paid there should be there will be a nominal amount that that is to be paid by the decree holder so that warrant is issued once the warrant is issued bailiff goes bailiff checks the entire property the boundaries etc etc and informs the court that everything is in order whatever is in the paper is on the physically the same is on the site and then court passes an order of attachment simply says this property is attached this property is prohibited from mortgaging or selling a single page order that order must be brought to the physically to the site and then it is informed to all the parties if it is a village property the procedure is different if it is a city property the procedure is different in a village property it will be generally with the beat of drum and informing the revenue uh, authorities in the village but in a city beat of drum is not possible then you inform the association if it is an apartment you inform the association of the apartment you inform the municipal authorities you inform the sub registrar authorities sub registrar enters into the prohibitory register municipality enters into the mutation records and undoubtedly society will be informed about <coughs> the sale transaction the attachment transaction and the neighbors also will be attached all these will be 
<coughs> recorded in the proceedings in the presence of the two witnesses who are called panchas two respectable people will witness all these transactions all these proceedings and uh, the warrant the attachment warrant will be <coughs> pasted on to the property it is also pasted in in the courthouse notice board of the court it's also issued to the sub registrar under acknowledgement it is also issued to the municipal authorities under acknowledgement so that's how the attachment proceedings are concluded bailiff writes a report informs to the court and then court confirms that the property is attached by passing a final order hope i am clear thank you thanks for watching if you have any doubts kindly comment